<laughs> messing up already. Welcome fellow artists to Lyricology 101. I uh, still don't have a tagline yet. Today we're gonna learn ways to improve your punchlines on this week's A-R-T. An issue that I commonly hear in some rappers' verses are cliched punchlines. It usually goes, the rhymes are great, the concept is great, the vocals and the delivery are great, but the punchlines are all structured in this simple, outdated format. For example, I'm simplified description like a reference. I'll have you simplified description like a reference. My bars are simplified description like a reference. And tons of variations on that formula. There are quite a few ways to fix this, but I'm only gonna cover one technique in this episode. I have a habit of giving you guys way too many options in one video because I cared so much. So take this method, practice, and then we'll cover the next trick in another video. This will be the easiest method since it expands on the previously mentioned formula. We need to step up the simplified reference portion of the formula. You're missing an opportunity to add another layer to the simile, giving the metaphor more depth and requiring the listener a second to absorb the whole punch. For example, you know that I'm a beast like an X-Men. Look at all that filler. It's bullshit. The only word that relates to the reference is the word beast. You need to find more words that associate with being a beast and beast from X-Men. So let's do some quick research and take a look at Beast. His name is Henry Philip McCoy. He's in X-Men. He's covered in blue fur. He has animal-like characteristics. He supports his own mutant race. He's a genius scientist and he's from Marvel Comics. So let's form a new punchline using these elements that we researched. This genius is a beast on his team like an X-Men. Now we have less filler words in the description area of the punchline. We have more words that associate with the reference. We have a reference to being a genius, similar to Beast. We have a reference to being a beast. We have a reference to being a part of a team, which relates to X-Men. Plus, the entire description is a homonym. It's two full sentences that use the same words. Let's try another one using the elements that we researched. Marvel at the beast who blew for his kin like an X-Men. Once again, we have less filler words and more words that associate with the subject. We have a reference to Marvel Comics, a reference to being a beast, a reference to blowing up, but also a reference to Beast's color, a reference to Beast's fur, and a reference to Beast's support for mutants, as well as a reference to representing your own people. I tried to form a homonym as well with blue for his skin, but it wasn't as cohesive as I would like it to be. On top of that, this line is a bit pauseworthy with the whole blue thing, which could be heard the wrong way and you know how people are. Um, this is just an example though. We'll use another cliche punch and improve it using the same method that we just used in the previous example. I'll be doing numbers like a calculator. Why? Why is it so plain? This sucks. So using the previous process, let's look at some relevant words that associate with calculators. Uh, let's see, it, it, it processes numbers. It's a small machine. It has buttons of various sizes and shapes. Um, it can add, subtract, divide, multiply, and more. Um, and it's used primarily for math. So let's form a new punch with these elements that we just researched. Some will figure that I'm adding digits like a calculator. Not the best line, but a great example. We're using all of the elements that associate with a calculator. We get a couple of references to adding, and we get a couple of references to numbers. All right, let's do one more example using the same method as before. Placing numbers over these squares like a calculator. Using the previously researched elements, we get a full sentence homonym in the description area of the punchline. The punch states that you're placing numbers over lame or square wrappers. The parallel is that numbers are placed over the square buttons of the calculator, so that's very cohesive. Another formula that can be fixed up is you're more cliche description than a reference. I got more cliche description than a reference. The trick to fix this formula is, is pretty simple. Change the most predictable description by using related but more descriptive words. For example, I got more verses than the Bible. Boring! There are plenty of ways to rewrite the description portion of the formula. Let's look at the meaning of a verse and its relation to the Bible. Verses contain scriptures. Scriptures are sacred writings. Verses are contained within chapters that are contained within books. And each book has a name. With that info, we can start associating words to make the line better. So now we can write something like, I've scripted more sacred writings than the Bible. Now we have two associations that references the Bible. We have a reference to writing and a small portion of the word scripture, and we have a reference to the definition of a scripture. Let's try another. I've authored higher numbers of wisdom than the Bible. Now we have three associations to the Bible. So here we have a reference to writing a book, a reference to a book in the Bible, 
and the overall perception of the Bible. All in the description portion of the line. Let's use one more example to try this method on. I'm balling harder than LeBron James. Oh, I get it. Okay, he's balling hard like Le Shut up! Okay, we have the description balling harder. It seems like it'll be a money brag type punchline. So let's spice it up. First, we need to look at the relation of balling hard to LeBron James. LeBron is considered one of the best NBA players. Ballin equals having a lot of money, and LeBron has a lot of money. LeBron has had some issues with balding, so we could play on the word ballin. Um, LeBron has won MVP. His position is a forward. He won a gold medal in the Olympic Games. He has three rings, and he's also known as King James. So let's see what we can come up with. This could be like the payoff bar to a two-bar punchline. Blah, 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 blah. NBA baller gaining more gold than LeBron James. So we have a reference to the NBA through a homonym, a reference to being a basketball player and wealth, a reference to money and LeBron's rings and medals. Let's try another. Royally rich and a more valued player than LeBron James. So we have a reference to Kings and King James. We have a reference to wealth and a reference to being an MVP, which associates with the NBA. It also references wealth and worth with the word value and it also references male social value with the word player. I don't rap like this myself, and I don't do these types of lines, but I'm just trying to show you guys that the formula fits to everything. This method works on every type of writing. Just play around with it. And that's it for today. The next ART video might cover uh, the next punchline video, or it might cover the next wordplay video. I'll try to keep it interesting. Just let me not... <laughs> Let me know what you guys want. There are so many things I can't wait to teach you guys. Like seriously, I, I can't wait. I'm currently developing an ART class for you guys, uh, just focusing on the most advanced aspects of writing. Um, I'm in the development stages right now. Um, I'm actually asking you now, if you guys, you know, what are you looking for to learn? Uh, if you're looking for uh, just like a full class on multi-syllable writing and the best aspects of multi-syllable writing, or are you looking to extend your wordplay skills? or anything of that nature, anything technical, let me know and I'll start developing the course for you. Uh, I'll be honest, it's gonna, you're, I'm gonna charge for it, but it won't be too expensive, I promise you. It, it'll be less than 15. So um, just let me know what you guys want in the comments and I'll start finishing the development for it. I'm currently working on a wordplay class and a freestyle class, but I'm not sure which one I need to finish first for you guys, so please let me know. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like what we're doing here at Lyricology 101, please share. If you'd like to get in contact with me, I have more information in the description below. If you don't do descriptions, then you can hit me up on facebook.com slash Lyricology 101, Instagram at Lyricology 101, um, damn it, twitter.com uh, at Lyricology Tips, and I'm also on Rap Genius as Punzi, P-U-N-S-Y. Uh, if you can't reach me at any of those places, then you can reach me at lyricology101.com. This was Lyricology 101. I'm Andre Gaynor. And don't forget where the art is. Thank you for watching Lyricology 101. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, feel free to check out my rap tips videos and my bar for bar breakdowns. Um, got some pretty great content for you guys. We try to upload a video every Friday and every Wednesday with an optional video on Monday. That schedule might be set to change pretty soon, but you know, we're just gonna work with what we have right now. Um, check out my courses. I have three courses total, one that I give out for free and two that are paid. But if you go through the link that I provide here at YouTube, um, you get a half off discount. So it won't cost uh, the actual price. You're getting a discount if you come for my video. So uh, please check them out. Um, uh, you know, like I usually do, I mess up at the end of this video. I never know what to say. But uh, if you guys are enjoying the videos, just let me know in the comments. I have fun doing these. And have a wonderful day, guys. Uh, peace out. Bye.